Haste. What's up guys, it's Haste here, and ever since the April Fools video I put out, I've been playing a lot of the original Risk of Rain and have been loving every second of it. I'm not an OG fan, and I started off playing Risk of Rain 2 when it was released, and didn't play the original until now. And I can safely say that I was missing out on a genuinely good game. Going way back to my younger days of playing video games, I enjoyed all of the 2D side-scroller games, which is what Risk of Rain is. Making the transition from 2D to 3D though is no easy task to do for games, and I think that the Risk of Rain series did it successfully. Let me take you guys back to some of the earlier games that have made this transition well. Now you guys may disagree with what I think, but games like Mario, Legend of Zelda, and Metal Gear Solid all made the transition from a 2D landscape to a 3D one very well. Games that didn't hold up and make the transition well were games like Mega Man, Sonic, and MapleStory. So my question is, why could some of these games evolve while other games couldn't make the jump? I think that it has a little to do with changing the core mechanics and objectives. When we think of the next series of games, they're usually seen as successors and need to have a new spin to make the gameplay more interesting. But sometimes, games can just hold up well with their gameplay not changing and just updating the graphics and control. Mario is the classic example of how to go from 2D to 3D. The core gameplay is the same, where Mario needs to complete a stage by finishing his objective. It doesn't matter if he's in a 2D world or a 3D one. However, games like Sonic vastly had the controls and mechanics changed to where the gameplay was just not satisfying to play with. And if you're frustrated with the controls and mechanics, you're probably not having fun playing the game. And isn't that the whole reason why we play games? This is why I think Risk of Brain was able to make that transition well. The core gameplay didn't change and has a very clear objective to reach the teleporter, kill the boss, and move on to the next stage. Luckily, shifting the controls to a 3D environment already feels natural to the PC and console players. Yes, the survivor skills needed to be tweaked to make sense in a 3D world, but I think Kopu did a great job porting all of them over. The enemies and their skills still give you the same sense of urgency when playing, and add in that 3D element well with enemies that are out of your field of vision. 2D side-scrollers let you see all the enemies and where the attacks are coming from. In the new 3D world, enemies can be behind you which gives you that real feeling of playing Risk of Rain in 3D. So yeah, that's my opinion on the Risk of Rain series, and all of this just to say, this game is a real gem, and its 3D roguelike feels one of a kind. Other games will probably look to Risk of Rain 2 as a template on how to make their games work in 3D. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.